Hello and welcome to another week of Messenger Animals Oracle. This week we are focusing on what your higher self has as a message for you this week. Okay, We are working with this deck, the Messenger Animals Oracle. I'm the artist and the author and there is a link below if you'd like to purchase this deck. All right. There are also on my site tutorials for using the deck with a dowsing chart. Uh, so subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll see constant updates as they continue to come forth. Now, first up, we had the giraffe come forth and then we had the squirrel and we had the stag. So I hope you've picked your card and we'll go into it. So the support card is the puma so we've got the giraffe as the main card and the support card is a puma now there is a sense of a higher perspective and healing into that higher perspective of receiving thoughts and ideas and it's a really lovely energy of knowing okay it's like your higher self is just indicating that you are the light you know you are open to receive you can be more. You can be limitless in anything you choose and want to be because this is showing us a higher perspective and clarity within that higher perspective when you allow that to come forth, okay? And this is showing that you are protected. Teams are protecting you. Like you've got you've got a lot to like be thankful for. This this light, it's like this little, it's not even little, it's like huge. It's like imagine the central sun just burning away up there. And it's it's almost organically just creating this shift and transformation. And your higher self is showing you that, you know, the these thoughts and epiphanies, these ideas and concepts that are coming to you. Are your wisdom is the wisdom of your soul. It's like this remembrance um, awakening that is allowing you to step up, to be more, to exist in that life you want to live. And you may be, you know, feeling this urge to learn different things, to move into different subjects, to connect with different people. And this is simply this shift that's happening because as you gain more clarity through higher self, and that is just blessing your conscious mind with thoughts and ideas okay you're recognizing more the epiphany you're like wow this is so awesome oh yeah i never realized that before so it's almost like you keep opening the treasure boxes that have been laid within and it's safe to explore that's what this is saying it's safe to explore it's safe to step forward into those things it's safe for you to light up the world with these ideas, with these thoughts, with these concepts, and to bring that to others because you're being guided, you're being shown, and this higher perspective is just stunning. It's just this sense of gentle, beautiful awakening. It's like the lotus flower just blooming. It's, um, yeah, really quite a, a beautiful concept. Now, the squirrel with the ostrich. So this is... Um, this has actually come up in more of a challenge position today. So this would indicate to me that you are connecting to your higher self, to those thoughts and ideas, but you're not trusting. You don't or you won't. I'm not sure if it's a don't or won't trust what you're experiencing. And that is being shown here through the ostrich, like your higher self is essentially giving you the message of, it's okay to trust. The world is blessed to have you. Who you are is perfect. And when you allow yourself to listen, receive and trust and follow those urges, those concepts of what you're receiving, those ideas and express that organically, you know, you're going to keep moving into more clarity. Okay. So at the moment, it's almost like this Wounded energy is just holding you back. But if you can recognize that it's just wounded energy, okay, it's not, it, it's an illusion of what it was. So perhaps you need to move through that emotion and follow it and just allow it to just, if you keep bringing light into those threads of difficult emotion that are creating that mistrust, you know, you just sit quiet and breathe into it and just go, no, I'm letting this go. I'm not owning that anymore. I trust me. I believe in me. I am okay to be me. I'm enough, you know, and these, these affirmations of allowing you to move up into your own truth, every step, every, it empowers here in the solar plexus, which is bringing your light forth, helps you shine brighter. 
the affirmations and the intention to not own being this nervous energy around your own self around the messages you're receiving the signs you're seeing okay the more you trust the more you'll see so the signs that you're getting with repeating numbers or synchronicities in your environment they're no longer wow that's weird but wow that's awesome that confirms what i know okay so they're confirmation and it's coming forth to allow you to be more progressive and you know this observing to continue healing and getting clearer every step of the way as you let go of the nervousness, okay? Now, the stag with the wallaby. <laughs> now, this really feels like... Um, mm, I'm feeling like there's just a real mis distrust for anything it's it's almost like your higher self is showing you that as soon as you move into trying to understand anything you just being trapped and it's this attachment to what was that you can't let go that this is creating this reactive energy of continually ricocheting you back into the negative and mistrust it holds you in a very 3d environment in a very victim environment of something's always going wrong and that is that is just going to take some work okay because there is like if you're shielding and this is an ability like there's lots of different shielding things that you can do to help keep your mind safe keep your body and energy field safe and when you're doing that it helps to purify and cleanse your energy field, when you're doing your ongoing, morning and night, ongoing, every day, before you go out, before you connect with other people, when you're connecting to life in general, okay, going outside, you need to be protected. This is for you this week. This feels this protection and shielding of your own energy, of your own highest self, of your own thoughts and mind and body and soul. It feels absolutely pivotal like it's a must that's what I feel like I'm being shown by your higher self it's it's almost like the soul has gone through this journey of such difficulty but you're still not letting go it keeps ricocheting back into a reactive impulsive energy this um, wounded self where you're refusing to believe that anything can change that there is no good left but that's not true because the wisdom is there the the higher self is showing you that the light is there and when you choose to be kind, when you choose to love and nurture through taking the right steps, through starting by shielding within light and expanding that light every day, every day, the more you do it, the easier it gets, okay? The easier it gets because it's like it builds those muscles. So every breath you think I'm breathing in and strengthening that shielding that I set up. I'm breathing out the heaviness. I'm breathing in the light and you breathe it in to anywhere and you follow any threads. And every time you start to feel shadows and you start to feel nervousness or you start to feel that, that ricochet pull back into a certain attachment or mental looping, you breathe in the light into those areas and you go, no, I'm not owning that anymore. I'm letting it go. I renounce it. I release it. I let it go. I refuse to be there. I am the light. I am the love. I am enough. I choose me. I choose life. Okay, these are really important to get out of this wounded and reactive energy. Shielding, if you've connected to this card, please connect to some sort of shielding. Look it up. You can find stuff on YouTube through plenty of other, you know, there's always advice on shielding um, through meditations and stuff like that. And it doesn't have to take a long time. It just has to be intention of bringing in this light, placing yourself in this beautiful golden bubble of energy, place a huge Merkaba spinning in opposite directions around it, just shield. This is an important message, okay? Okay. So this is for the 9th of April. Whenever you connect to it is perfect for you because these readings are timeless and the message is received when you need to receive it. Blessings to all. Much love. Bye for now.